Good morning everyone. Today we are in the White Mountains of New Hampshire getting ready to do the Presidential Traverse. That's right, we are doing a bucket list trail. All Trails has this at over 20 miles and 8,500 plus feet of gain. And we'll be tagging a total of nine plus presidential peaks. Again, this is a bucket list trail we want to do for a long time, so we're really excited. We're supposed to have some amazing weather for today, so let's check it out. We'll show you some video from the road. Let's do it. All right, here we are, just at the trailhead. There's plenty of parking here. We got here about 4.40 a.m. All right, guys, it's 4.50 a.m. You can see the sun's already coming up. We're uh, heading up north into the darkness here, into the tree line. But I recommend if you can, you can start even earlier to catch that sunrise when you get to the top here. We're finally getting a little light breaking through the woods here. Start of this trail, it's as you follow in this creek kind of on the way up. Really beautiful. You're just smothered by trees on the side with no use of the mountain ahead of you. But the sound of the water in the background just kind of pulls you forward. So excited to get to the real part of the mountain, but beautiful way to start the day. So we're a little under 1.4 miles from the Madison hut. Um, trail's definitely starting to get steep. It's about 18, 1900 feet of gain down. So we still have a lot in front of us. And it looks like it's gonna get steeper and steeper. Welcome to the Alpine Zone. something different about being above the tree line. The views are just out of this world. We are getting close to the top of Mount Madison here. Just following these giant rock cars. Thankful for We're heading right into the sun. And I can't see anything. Mount Madison. All right, quick stop at the top. Now we are kicking, kicking rocks back the other way. All right, so when you get to the Madison hut, you just come to the entrance here to the left. Drinking water. Boom. And then on to the next. Making our way up Mount Adams. See Mount Madison in the background. The hut's just around the corner there. You can see that lake earlier in the in the shots. But bird is real. Bird is real. Alright, boulder hopping our way. Mount Adams, peak just in front of us. 
one of those areas where corns are much appreciated. This is why this is where rock stacking isn't rock stacking. It's a means of providing a route and safety for people. So always remember that. Good here in Alpine Country. Making a climb on the peak in between Adams and Washington. Can't remember the name of it. Trails, they're only steep here, but it's much more stable. Big rocks are like in dirt, which helps a bit versus your way up Madison and Adams. Pretty much got this the whole way. But you see, we actually don't have much farther to go. So, it's gonna be a lot worse. This view, I mean, Pretty. absolutely stunning. I get why people come up here. Although, if you're doing this with a turtle shell on your back, respect. So much respect for y'all, just so you know. There we go. All right. I'm not sure if you can see it in the distance here, but right about there, the Cog Express heading up Mount Washington. I'm not sure what mountain this is, but it's one of them. Well, we are slowly but surely making our way up. Mount Washington. We've seen a Cog Railroad going up, which I think is just the right of us right now. Um, and we're starting to see cars driving up and down. So I think we're getting close. This will be the high point of the traverse. And from there, we're at mile ten, nine or ten. Mile ten, and we have about 7,000 feet of gain. So that'll tell you just how much this cane comes in the first half of this hike. You know, you're supposed to get one traverse, 8,600 feet or so. And we're just completely blown out of the water here. Dark. We are about at the top of Mount Washington here. We're just going to have to find the summit. Get our tag in. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Made it. All right, well, we just tagged the top right up there. I think those look like are those water fountains. I don't know. All right, just a quick stop at Mount Washington. Now we'll start weaving our way down. All right, here we are getting close to the top of Monroe. Not sure this is before five. I honestly couldn't tell you at this point. But hey, it down. just needs one more down. Not Monroe, right? Is this it? Excellent. It sounds right. Yeah. All right, Monroe done. All right. There's another summit. No 
don't know what this mountain is called. One of them. I have no idea what mountain this is. Boom, whatever your mountain you are. It sound white, boy. All right, small, you can see it. Mount Pierce, tag. cabin area and thank god they've got drinking water yes. all right we're making our climb up uh, mountain jackson here just want to show you here in the distance probably see it that right there, that's Mount Washington. You can make the radio towers out. I'm not sure if we'll see it from the camera. And our last water stop, you should be able to see it probably right about there. So, yeah, this thing is a beast. Absolute beast. It just never lets up the entire time. I'll second that. Yeah, you think you might get some, just some smooth sections to run? There's nothing. It is just rock and boulder fields and climbs like this where you're gonna be using your hands and your feet just to pull yourself to the top. Best ab workout I've had in a while. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, don't underestimate this presidential traverse. We've done a lot of really hard trails and we're at over 9,000 feet of gain and we're at mile 18 or so. So that should tell you a lot about it. You're averaging over 500 feet of gain per mile every single mile and it is steep, brutal. The downhills are technical, so. Gnarly. Gnarly, but we're gonna finish this bad boy out. We'll get you some more video and I'll show you when we're done. Let's do it. Jackson, Jackson, Mount Jackson, boom. All right. Getting close, finishing Woo! presidential traverse. And I have to admit, if you look at my eyes are looking down, it's because there is no flat, non-rocky technical section on this entire 20 plus miles. You know, all trail says it's 20.4, that is a lie. I got 21.7 now. We're almost 22. And it says 84 something elevation. We're at 96 already. And Kyle's got us even higher than that. So, yeah, just take that into account, because man, now we're gonna be hopefully getting to our car here, or hopefully getting down to civilization, and then trying to hitch a ride to our car. So, so yeah, this won't be the first time we've done it, but so far, We've had pretty decent luck doing it. We're hoping, you know, two sweaty, dirty guys like us, someone will find their heart to let us in the car. 
All right, we have done it. We completed the presidential nice. traverse. We did it in nine hours and 59 minutes. Oh yeah, we made 10. Yes. We got a total of over 22 miles and something like 96 to 9,800 feet of gain. So way more than what they say on there. Um, yeah. Paul, this is for you, brother. I love you and uh, God rest your soul and rest in peace, man. All right, so now that we're done with the presidential traverse, we got to hitchhike to our car. So first we got to figure out where our car is. Then what we're going to do is hike down this highway and hopefully someone will give us a ride. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm in our car. Um, didn't get a chance to show you the hitchhiking adventure because literally the first car we got right as we were talking about it, pulling out the info to get to our car, stuck my thumb out and Alberta was heading to the town. We stayed in last night, which was five minutes from the parking lot. So boom, sometimes just things work out for the best. So I'm in the car now. I got about a 20 minute, 25 minute drive back to go pick up, uh, go pick up Kyle and then we're gonna eat a bunch of food. I 